Now what we want to do is move his legs so that his legs will appear to be bending, his knees and his feet and so forth will appear to be bending as he bounces up and down so that they will stay in position and it looks like he's moving correctly. Now to do that, what we need to do is establish rotation keyframes for those different sections so that they appear to actually be staying in place, at least the lower parts here, while the upper parts are moving in conjunction with his torso. So to do that, we'll start with just the right leg here. First one we established. So we've got our right leg. Type R for those, because we're going to do, again, rotation keyframes for those. We have rotation established already for his right foot, so that's okay. And now this is, again, the right here. We need to keep track of our keyframes. Right there is the first, well, actually right here, the beat before the real downbeat is where we need to establish position keyframes, or rather keyframes for rotation. So we'll just enable rotation for all three of those there. They're still selected, so we get a rotation keyframe for those guys. And we've got one for there as well. Okay, now we move to the next beat place where the torso moves down, and we go and we adjust the position, or rather the rotation, strictly speaking, of each of those elements so that they will position themselves correctly. And that's why we put these guides in here, because now we need to make sure that we move, let's grab our rotation tool, that we move these elements so that the foot ends up in the same place it started out at. So we're going to, to do that, it's really a kind of interactive process. We need to this kind of adjust stuff here. Like so. And we're making keyframes here the whole time. And you can see that what I'm doing here is making sure that the foot is going to end up in roughly the same position. It's going to rotate down. His heel is going to move a little bit, but that's okay. So now what we should have, we have something that actually looks like joint movement. So that's actually pretty good, all things considered. Now we need to do the same thing for the left leg. Oh, that's down here. We're very constrained in terms of our space here, so. Now we need to go back again to that first keyframe that we've established and establish our initial position. So we're going to do keyframing for those three legs right there. Because they're all selected, clicking the rotation keyframe enable is going to enable it for all three of those. And now we'll move ahead to this position and do the same thing that we did before with the left leg. Now the exact positioning here of course is kind of up to you, whatever you think is going to work well for this. Now you can see that what's happening here is that because we don't have the legs going back down, as he bounces back up, the legs are staying where they are. So now we need to do the original position keyframes again for all of those elements in order to make sure that he goes back to his original position. And we can do that just by copying the keyframes here that we made before. So again, let's scroll up here. Makes this a little bit easier if we have a little more room to work with. So here's his next torso position. Let's grab this leg keyframe, copy that and paste it. That'll straighten that out. We'll do the same thing with these others here. Just grabbing these keyframes. 
we have extra keyframes here because that's where his foot was rotating. And a couple more. So we've got a little bit of a slide there, but that's okay. Now again, for the remaining keyframes for the torso animation, which we've got, see there's one here. We need to now just go back and make sure that we grab those keyframes that we established before for everything, for that complete cycle. Oops, got to make sure we grab the right keyframe here. We want to grab the one, of course, from before the current keyframe in order to make the correct cycle. And we have one more torso keyframe up here. Yes, there is. Again, I'm dragging, shift dragging to make sure that I grab the right keyframe and snap it right to that marker. Now this process of copying, oops, didn't mean to do that. Let's get back to the composition. I double clicked on that layer and that opened up that layer by itself. Now that process of, did I miss one? I did. You got to make sure that you keep track of your keyframes here. This process of copying and pasting the keyframes that we've established previously for our cycle is one that we're going to use to basically make this entire animation. We're just going to loop this by copying and pasting all these keyframes here, which I won't do in real time, but that's going to be our process. Now let's just see where we're looking at here so far. I'm going to pull out here, scroll this down a bit, and let's see what he looks like so far. Okay, so he's now in sync. We have basically one cycle, and we're going to repeat that cycle and loop it throughout to do his basic body motion. A very simple animation here to the music, but one that will have some character when we're all done with this. Let's continue on in the next video.